Okay, so I'm with Sam, who's in the UK. Sam, what was your situation before we started working together? Like, what did you need help with or what was your kind of life like? I was, um, I was being told that I couldn't eat a variety of different foods for all sorts of different reasons. First, it was one thing, um, one health issue um, that they were saying, well, you shouldn't eat this group of foods. And another health issue turned up and it's like, well, you shouldn't eat those foods. And it was one thing after another, after another. And I was eating oat cakes, grapes and chicken. And I think that was pretty much it. Oh, lettuce. There was very, very little else I was managing to eat. And I was losing weight really quickly. I was feeling obviously very tired a lot of the time. Um, I was very emotional a lot of the time because I, I, I had nothing to sustain myself. Um, and people with a health condition that would had triggered all this, a lot of them go on down um, the route to being peg fed and I could just see my future coming up that this is where I was going. And I was quite concerned for my future. So um, I'd asked my GP if I could see a dietitian because I thought, well, if I, this is all I'm eating, I'm missing out on valuable nutrients. And I was worried about my calcium levels for my bone density and what have you. Um, already having problems with arthritis so that was another issue and uh, he said all right I'll refer you and it was an 18 week waiting list well I was already seeing my weight plummeting so I, I was not happy with that situation mm. I came across your um, information on Facebook just drifting through there one day and it, it was something I decided to give you a call um, you made a lot of sense to me. Um, so I took the plunge and I was really glad I did. Um, I can't say any of the foods that I've been told I shouldn't eat um, are particularly useful still. I still have problems with those foods, but I don't have to rule them out completely, which is what I've been told. I just have to be careful how I use them in my diet. So I'm now able to eat a variety of foods again, and I'm a lot better for it. Okay, so you were you were kind of stuck with your your safe safe foods, which a lot of people do um, get stuck doing. It can be very limited. It's obviously not a not a fun way to live your live your life, and um, it's not healthy either long term. Whether it's the weight loss, whether it's just the the variety of diet is so important. And, and when you're going down this narrow, narrow path of just being stuck with this, it, it, it doesn't end well if, if we don't work on that. Um, so the progress you've made so far then is um, learning you, you do tolerate some amounts of different foods. Um, yeah. Okay. So did you, you know, they're like little treats each, I, every week I can have a little treat of this one, a little treat of that one. So I can't have a whole lot of any of those things, but I can, because there's so many things that I'm not supposed to eat, that means every week I can have a little treat of this and this and this, and then the next week I can treat myself with those things. And then the week after there's another whole group, then I can go back to the first group. So I, I get so many treats. It's, it's kind of nice, really. <laughs> well, it's important, right? It's, it is one thing in our lives. Food is pleasure as well um, to an extent. So it is an important part of your life. If you don't have that, uh, it can be very, it can be very depressing. Um, like, what did you like about this program? Uh, you know, working online, having having Beth to speak with, or or myself. What did you like about this whole approach? Um, I like that. Like with with the NHS dietitian, I did stick to going along. I, you know, the GP did do the referral. I I honoured it. I went along. I've seen her twice since I, you know, I I asked the GP for the referral. And while I waited for that referral to come through, since then I booked to see you. I've gone through six months of seeing you. Um, meantime, I've seen the NHS dietitian twice. And she gave me an app and just said, come back when you're ready. Brilliant. That really helped. Um, right. No. So this has been more, you, much more supportive. Really needed. Bearing in mind when I first met you, I was very emotional. I was very concerned. I, I had questions 
I didn't know where to go for what. Although I didn't ask you and Beth an awful lot, I didn't need to because there was Facebook. Everybody was asking questions all the time and they were asking the questions I wanted to ask. There was the recordings every week, twice a week. Um, there was the, um, the membership site. So there was all that information on there. And it, it just, I just felt, you know, you, you use the term hand holding and I felt that that was there. And if I wanted to get hold of you and Beth, I knew I could send a message and within 24, 48 hours, I knew one or the other of you would come back to me. So I, I felt calmer and more reassured straight away. I didn't have to wonder when I would hear the answer. I knew it was coming. So that, that just made me feel that there was control over the situation at last. Good. So you, you felt um, you could get the support, the one-to-one -one individualized help when you wanted it. And we, you know, we get on the phone with you or we do it, or we, we could message you if it was just something small so that we could, it's really individualized. And this is the thing I want people to understand. It's like when you see the dietitian in person or the, the functional doctor, whoever they're seeing, it's, it's not convenient and that's why it doesn't work as you experience with the NHS. This kind of thing, when, it, when it's like a health and nutrition diet lifestyle change or, or something we're trying to fix specifically with your diet, food intolerance, it has to be very hands-on. You have There's a lot of iteration and back and forth and you need to be able to do that fast. And the problem, I used to work in clinic doing in-person when I first started and it was just a major issue. I noticed that you know, Sam, someone will come in, I give them a, you know, I've got 45 minutes to make you a plan in that session time. And then I'm like, okay, here you go, you know, follow this for a month, come back and see me in a month or whenever you can book in next. And it's like, you might walk away and be like, well, A, I, I don't like this plan. B, I, I'm going away next week. C, you get sick for a little bit of time and you, you're unable to try and follow it. And then you feel ashamed to come back and see me, so you never do, or you do come back and see me and we haven't made any progress and we just wasted a month, you've been living the same way with the same issue. And then I figured, well, well hang on a minute, online, if you can just have it, when, get information whenever you want, get help when it suits you. The point being, it has to be convenient. And, uh, and yeah. that's what online does, because people are still skeptical about doing it this way. And I'm trying to tell people it's better. No, this is this has been this has been better i mean um she's very nice the dietitian i've seen um and she said you know d so off you go here's a pamphlet try do this and this and then go off for three weeks four weeks see how you feel and if you want if you want an appointment then give me a call we'll see you eventually you know it's kind of like so you're leaving it up to me to let me know let you know when i want an appointment but you want me to go for at least three weeks but I might want to phone you in three hours when I've gone home and looked at this stuff and gone, I don't understand this. Hmm. Or what did you say again? Whereas hmm. with you, if you've said something on a call and I don't get it, like one of the Zoom calls and I don't get it, I know I can just go, you said such and such. Can I just, I know that that's possible for me. But um, I just, I listen to every recording I could find <laughs> that you've put out there. It, it works better this way because it's, I might not have pestered you very much, but that's, I think, because I've, I've it just calmed it down, knowing that I could if I needed to. Mm. I've, it, it, everything got out of control. I had four foods. That's out of control. That's not right. So th this calmed everything down, knowing yeah, that I could come you when I needed to. You, it definitely gets to a point where you need, the, you need individualized help. You need to be able to access the support yeah. at various times when you're going to get questions and this is something that i mean i worked in person clinic it's just not possible maybe you can send them an email right and they reply in a couple of weeks or something um the way to move forward with this is you need to be able to just ask something or get help straight away and it has to be on demand i tell people like netflix like why is that such a popular service because you get you get it when you want when you need it and that's that's what it comes down to it has to be convenient in your life this kind of service for it to be successful. So I'm happy that th you um, felt that way. I think I was probably on that super restricted diet for too long. So it's possible I'm finding it hard to reintroduce foods because my, my gut may have been restricted for too long now, mm -hmm. um, back then. 
before I yeah, came. Yeah, it's You're right. You're definitely right. Uh, restrictive diets, like I said, the, there's the immediate nutritional deficiency or calorie issue. And then the second order consequence, you've got microbiome, not having the diversity of foods. And that leads to further issues down the track. And the rebuilding process does take time, but it's also, it's also a nice process because you're starting to introduce more foods, realizing you tolerate bit by bit. And we, we're kind of putting the pieces um, together as we go. And it is, it, is, it is not possible to do on your own. I mean, it's complicated. You need to, you need to document and, and like have things tracked down. That's the only way you'll observe patterns, right? And connect the dots is if we can say, look, let's look at Sam, what Sam's having and let's see how she reacts, for example. Um, and then there's the, the accountability component as well, because we can tell you what to do, but of course it's up to you to implement, which you did, which you, you even have a book that you've made. So I can't fault, <laughs> you know, your commitment and effort. Um, do you think this setup helped with the accountability with keeping you on, on track? It, it did for me. Um, when, and when I've looked at other people, um, you know, when you listen to the calls um, and, you, and you look at the Facebook uh, pages, people are always punching in their comments about this is my accountability today. They're putting in their photos or their videos or just their testimonies. Um, and be able to comment back on other people as well. They know that you've read their comment. It makes you stop and think about what you've achieved that week or that day. So just the fact that you're commenting on somebody else is your, is your accountability as well. It shows that you're, you're there what, still reading. You're still absorbing. You're learning lessons from them as well. Last thing, Sam, what, like what would you say to someone who's in a similar situation to you with their you know being so limited on food um not knowing what to do like what would you say to that person if they're still on the fence about joining up with me uh, maybe they're skeptical of of um online or you know they they don't invest they've never invested in themselves like that like oh, you how can't come you were so brave or yeah. you know what would you say to them you can't not invest in yourself you, if you don't look after yourself then you know nobody else is going to invest in you not really because everybody else is too busy worrying about themselves at first so you've got to worry about yourself first although you've got nothing to give anybody else have you and it always sounds like when you first mention that bill it's like oh my god that's so much and that's what a lot of people worry about is but it costs and it's not very personal that's the other thing but it is very personal because you get to like i say it's it's you know the, these calls they are very personal and you get to know all the other people in the group through the calls it is it is really supportive it is personal and when you look at the cost um i worked it out that people spend more on smoking and alcohol mm -hmm. per day per week than they do on your program yeah and they're getting a lot of a lot of money um uh, you know, a lot of, like you say, bang for your bucks. You are getting a lot of service for the money that you spend on this. Yeah, for a 20 so I... hours a day service. They wake up in the middle of the night and they think, oh, I must ask Joe that. They can type it in there and within 24, 48 hours, an answer's going to come back. It doesn't matter when they've got the question. They can put it in there for you. So what more can you ask? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I, I, I like to challenge people and just say, like, what's the true cost? of not of trying not to fix this properly You're, i mean how much time well, are you gonna... you can't be that that you can't be that vibrant person you want to be now but you can't be that vibrant person you want to be in the future you can't be that that grandparent or that adventurer that you want to be to see the world you can't physically do those things because your body will fail you so if you want to have that optimum health that you can possibly achieve you've got to do it through your nutrition you haven't got a choice. And the other thing that, that your um, service provides, which I feel is different to everybody else, is um, that, that whole, whole approach, the holistic approach. You've, you, you introduce other experts. But you, you, the fact that you keep looking at new ways of introducing new experts, you're not saying, I am the be all, I know it all. You think, right, what's missing here? Who else can we introduce? Yeah, so it's a thorough all round service. 
So, um, yeah, brilliant. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate those kind words. And and yeah, you we're, we're always building on it. Um, it minds like you know whether it's weight loss or whether it's uh, your digestive issues, whatever the goal is, the issue, like the diet nutrition component is one one part. The community accountability aspect, the mindset relationship with food for a lot of people, that's the pebble in the shoe. I say that's the thing oh, yeah. that that if you ignore that, well, it's 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 going to get bigger and bigger, and it's it becomes a big burden and it can stop you from getting to your goal and that's why i'm trying to introduce all the different approaches from different angles different pieces of the puzzle i say they all need to be in place and then we can we can really get you to your to your goal definitely definitely it's, it's really working for me anyway <laughs>